It's time for another uh, update. We're going to begin the next BTS vlog for um, November 15th and November 18th. It's the weekend vlog. We're still in sleep deprivation mode. Uh, serious sleep depri deprivation mode. Uh, I kind of hit the wall hard last Saturday. And I'm still in recovery mode. And right now, even though it's like it's eight thirty in the it's eight thirty in the evening, or if you want to do the log, it's uh, twenty hours and thirty minutes. It's the day of November fifteenth, two thousand twelve. That's the uh, that's the uh, log stamp. So I'm up for hydration. <coughs> <coughs> and as I was doing my hydration. Uh, I checked over some of the YouTube stroll that I've done. Uh, we had gone by uh, this uh, channel called Halt, Halt um, Ava, and she had a video up called that was uh, uh, Buffer and G Plus. It goes back to um, <coughs> Lurology's um, uh, Google Plus rant, or not really a rant, but a sort of issue, and all the changes that are going on, I mean, people have not been sort of positive towards the change, and I sort of, I get that, I get the change hasn't all been positive, uh, and the thing is, is if, the problem is, is, it's not being announced properly, people haven't had enough chance, time to sort of adjust to things, but I think there are more positives here than there are negatives. And then as this sort of continues to roll out, that it might be a better thing than what we had before. Like, what I didn't you know, realize is that now you can post links in the comments. So, if you're talking about a particular video, you can actually link to that video. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You can link to that video, and that's how you can actually post uh, video responses. So, guys, you can not say in the comments that you're a YouTuber, and you're answering in the YouTube way by leaving a video response. So, you could do that. You can do video responses like, once again, just not that it's sort of posted separately in the comments. It's all there in the comments all together. So, that's kind of a good thing. The bad thing is, is the way it connected. The, the connected the uh, channel to uh, a Google Plus page. Well, in some cases that's that's better, but now I've been informed. Well, not and then this is where I started. I started suspecting this a long time ago that it's stopping cl collecting views from people who aren't YouTube users. Uh, you can't if you're not you don't have a YouTube account or a G Plus account. You can't comment anymore. Uh, you have to set up a specific account to do this. You can't favorite. You can't like. Uh, in other words, the number of the statistics that you need for your channel, if, if you want your channel to become partnered, you actually need because uh, well, that's the way partnering works. They want to see the statistics, but they've kind of limited. They've, they've, they've redefined the uh, the standards of what is classified as a like is what classified as a view uh, and so what happens is that you're not getting the full statistics as to how many people went onto your page how many people saw you uh, all these things are not there anymore it, you have to sort of dig deeper in order to see what's going on in your on your channel 
I've, I've had this as well that people say I've gone and watched your t video, but it's never showed up in my feed. And the thing is, they, if they haven't watched the full video end to end, or they didn't sign into to uh, YouTube, then their view didn't count. So the question is, is that the, I know that the counter for uh, the number of views is not accurate. It's not reflective of who watches you watches your videos. And the thing is, my videos aren't necessarily designed to be watched end to end. You can watch whatever you want of these videos. You know, take as much or as little. That's the way the, the, the channel is designed. But the thing is, is that that's not the way YouTube is designed. But if you don't mind that, and you're using the YouTube as a particular platform to do whatever you want to do, uh, then then there's no issue. There's simply, well, this is the way things are, and as long as you do your, your end of the advertising, sort of get your channel out there to be known and be seen, then there's no particular issue in that. Uh, anyways, I think that's about it for now. Starting to, to knock off again. My, um, and then this, uh, this is why hydration is important. Uh, part of the fatigue actually ha is related to hi hydration sometimes. Sometimes you may think uh, one amount of uh, liquids or fluids is enough, but in reality it's not. And uh, certain points of times later, as your s system is uh, um, developing and uh, repairing itself from whatever issue it's dealing with, you may need to stop and do hydration more frequently. Or sometimes it, it actually it, it knocks off, and you don't need the amount of hydration that you uh, that you you, you that, that uh, you think you need. So it's sort of a, a, a play it by ear type of game where you sort of gauge: uh, are, are, are you thirsty? Is it is it a hydration issue? And what I do sometimes is that even if I'm just slightly feeling that it's uh, either. My, my mouth is feeling parsh or if you're feeling fatigued sometimes if you're feeling fatigued uh, the issue is you is a hydration issue fatigue is a, is a uh, indicator of, or can be an indicator of uh, a hydration issue and now if you have a glass of water or a glass of juice that will uh, sort of help deal with the situation to a certain degree anyways that's it for now this is the big first segment of this video of the of the BTS vlog for uh, November fifteenth to eighteenth. See you in a bit. Just about uh, one thirty six in the morning. I had gotten up uh, around one o'clock for what I thought was going to be a hydration uh, period, but what well, didn't turn out to be that. It turned out to be a um, a uh, fuel and hydration uh, pit stop, if you will. Uh, when your body is in repair mode, for whatever reason it is, it does require its food, it does require the chemical stores, and that's your food, uh, to be in place. And I said one of the key parts to uh, making sure your fuel is there and the stores, the chemical stores that you need, are there within the body properly is hydration because that's how the body takes in a lot of the uh, the nutrients so the better your hydration is you know the ratios if the make if your ratio is there properly then you know uh, your digestion will go better you'll have uh, better uptake and your body will repair itself better so I'm in that mode I'm in the repair mode uh, one of the things I did was uh, I've been doing this uh, and this will come up more and more on the on the channel you'll see this as I'm looking at these uh, Japanese videos, I'm trying to learn Japanese, and I've got uh, a couple. Uh, I got a blog of two uh, accounts on these Japanese websites. One is called uh, Nico Nico, and the other one is called uh, Amoeba. And so I'm bringing these bringing these in more and more to uh, BTR, the BTS vlogs as the research moves off into Insta, Insta vlogs. So a lot more of the personal stuff that I do comes into here. Uh, and that's the, also I did. Uh, <clears throat> that's part of the YouTube stroll. I came across uh, 99 Girl Fan. She does a lot of LPS uh, uh, doll movies. She, the, a lot of these kids, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do old she is, make movies <clears throat> uh, with their LPS uh, 
um, that's the little pet shop, uh, those little animals. And um, I think that a lot of people have been sort of complaining a lot about uh, the things with Google Plus and the whole commenting thing of how comments are done now on YouTube and how they're connected to Google Plus. And she's an element who's, you know, complaining about this. You could just sort of add her to the complaints. But I don't, I, you know, I don't blame people for, for complaining about it. I think what happened is that while you, uh, it, you, you do have some, some pluses and minuses with, with the Google Plus uh, additions, uh, if, if you're a technical person, you know how to work around them, and you can use some of these changes to, changes to, your, to your advantage. But if you don't, if you're not a technical person, and have a hard time adjusting to these changes, then, and I think this this is this is part of the problem. These changes are coming too fast and too often. Uh, so just as you're adjusting to one set of change, and you've gotten used to it, bang, here comes another one, and uh, you have to start all over again. And you don't really know what to do. You don't know how to tell what, tell your fans what what you know what's going on with everything. Because you just really don't have any any idea what's coming next, and this is what's been happening now. Is we've had uh, almost uh, every four months now, there's been constant change on YouTube. So it is uh, uh, it is from the average user's point of view frustrating, and people sort of asking why people who aren't young people aren't uh, as attracted to YouTube or to uh, to uh, Facebook or uh, other apps anymore as compared to the art Snapchat because they're talking about the why the guy turned down the three billion dollars from Facebook uh, for Snapchat Snapchat because uh, Snapchat because they, I guarantee you as soon as they roll something like Snapchat Snapchat uh, into Facebook the way they did with Instagram and I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably merge the platform with Snapchat Snapchat to Instagram uh, that uh, you're gonna see a lot of younger people move off of it because as they start changing things, as they start, you know, inserting ads into 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 these the to the conversations, uh, it's gonna push people away. Uh, right now, the I've seen the advertising model. I've seen what what they call advertising models, and they're annoying. The ads are just fundamentally annoying, and even on YouTube, they're, you know, the, the ads are annoying. And it's not a good it's not a good process right now. I mean, if you're an advertiser and you're spending your advertising dollar on YouTube or any some of the, some of these some some of these uh, these uh, these uh, in, in internet sites, and people start getting annoyed because of the way your ad comes across, right? It freezes your system, it slows the system down, or blocks your video, or anything like that. Anytime it becomes annoying. They're not going to get a good idea from your product. They're not going to say, oh, well, yeah, the ad is annoying. I'm going to buy their product. They're going to get mad at you. And they're going to walk away. You've lost a customer if they get mad at you because you annoyed them. It's not a good thing to annoy people as customers. Uh, that's, not good. that's not a good advertising strategy. And this is sort of the situation that's going on now. Is that it's not a matter that we mind as. We don't. We don't want ads that are annoying. And that's the whole issue here. And as uh, this continues on, as, as the YouTube starts to change and becomes more part of Google+, Plus, if they do it too quickly, they're going to lose a lot of the user base. Uh, but I don't know if they care. I don't know if Google actually cares about this. So, we'll see. And I don't, from my, my perspective... I sat down, I'm a technical person, I sat down and I figured my way around things and I could see some positive benefits to this. It's just a matter of, you know, how YouTube approaches this. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you later. That's about it for now. I'm going to go back to bed. I'm starting to uh, fall asleep. And uh, next time I get up, uh, we'll move on to the next topic. It's just about uh, 7 o'clock in the evening on Saturday, November uh, 16th, 2013. That's our date stamp, time and date stamp <coughs> for this vlog. 
Uh, I've been up since uh, we're still on the um, on recovery mode for the crash uh, for sleep for my sleep deprivation. Uh, I got up around 1 p.m. for uh, fuel and hydration, and that was about 13 hours into the day of November 16th. Uh, and the end of it, I, f I found myself in the what we we'll call a wake period, where where, where <coughs> I couldn't go back to bed. I was feeling awake enough to do something, and then <coughs> the energy level started dropping off around uh, three thirty. But I pushed on till uh, till just about now. And I'm gonna push on another half hour, and that will give me uh, just about six and a half hours. Uh, in the wake period before uh, I'm ready to go back to bed again. Uh, I am feeling tired right now, but I've got another half hour left to go to finish up some of the bits and pieces that I need to get done. Uh, well, as I was working on uh, my IPTV up there, I was looking at different cartoons and doing a YouTube stroll at the same time earlier on. And <clears throat> one interesting factoid, and did this, you can do that if you watch a lot of cartoons, you can begin to pick up uh, different voice actors as they cross from cartoon to cartoon. And one that I noticed, the sort of for a while though, was the voice of uh, Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> was in an earlier Nick cartoon called All Grown Up. And he was the principal called Pangborn. So I thought that was a pretty interesting interesting fact where his name is Clancy Brown. You look it up on on, on, on IMDB. Uh, the way I do this is if you're looking for uh, 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 for people who were in more obscure videos or weren't necessarily the stars in the video, particularly in their early, earlier careers, careers you start with the more with the series that they're, they're currently in, and then you work backwards uh, to <coughs> the earlier career. <coughs> but this is uh, gives me a chance now to do something on uh, the YouTube stroll. Uh, this happens every once in a while. Uh, uh, you have to go back over and do things. And I went to, to Laura's uh, uh, channel. Called Lurology. Uh, and she's talking about how she's approaching her first year on YouTube. And she did a Why Do YouTube video. So, in other words, uh, she wants to know, and because she left this for us to do it, why do why do you start making YouTube videos? Why do you know why did I start making the YouTube videos? And I've said this before. Uh, I actually came to Lurology's uh, uh, attention and met her at uh, Morgan Page Love's videos on her on her channels, and I got to Morgan Page Love's from Nerds RL. And so, it, basically, what I was trying to do and still trying to do is <clears throat> instead of being a a comedian or um, a filmmaker on YouTube trying to start my film career <coughs> uh, what I chose to do is I'm a scientist a researcher uh, I spent my life doing open exploration and one of the ways of getting my research out is through documentaries and but I really didn't really have a way to sort of get started on it because I was basically told on Linux and this was, these were the reviews at the time that you cannot produce videos on Linux. And I said okay those are the reviews and I didn't really know how to start wasn't sort of thinking of you know what to do then New Year's Eve uh, two, just about two years ago uh, I began watching the show the show on YouTube called uh, Nerds Are Out and I said this is an interesting video. I wonder if I could do something like this. Just you know, grab a camera, uh, or in this case, it was it was. I started off with simply a webcam, uh, 
and see if I can hook it up to YouTube and, and, and just make a video through there. And that's what I did. The first test was uh, literally on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day was the first broadcast. And it worked out for, well. And so I started from there on out. And I started doing trying to do the daily vlogs the way she did. But there was a lot of... There, there was a huge learning curve because I didn't have the editing software uh, that most people have because on Linux, nothing comes out of the box. Everything has to be tailored. So you have to put together an editing system, a filming system. All the things have to be put together. They have to be tested out. You have to know uh, the particular technical ins and outs of things. It, 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 Linux is not a rather simple operating system. It, it, it has its more technical side to it. And this is what makes, what makes it so good is that it can run anywhere from a small device to uh, whatever size device you want, including an entire internet. If, if you know how to stitch together all the different components that's required for it. And Linux allows you to do this. So it is an open system that allows for design, but if you're not a designer or you're just learning design, this can be rather complex. And this is sort of uh, my first year on YouTube as, as, as doing the YouTube videos was my learning curve how to do film production how to do uh, video production on uh, Linux and then uh, once I got that underground uh, uh, you know underway and started learning how to do uh, graphic overlays uh, then I moved into uh, working with Android seeing if we could vlog on Android so that was the next component of things now I'm up to a full system now and now I'm doing overlays. I'm doing. I'm trying to do the new thing I'm learning now is learning, um, creating theme songs, opening themes, ending things. Uh, I haven't tried, but I might try to do it this year to work on flyby graphics. I haven't exactly gotten a, the the hang of that yet. <coughs> but this is what's, what what this is all about. It's about having this fun. This this sort of this experimental life that allows you to get out there and sort of explore your different edges of you know what you know and what you don't know. Anyways, I'm going to cut it here. Uh, my levels are just really dropping off now. So I'll end here and I'll see you uh, next waking period or next uh, uh, fuel and hydration period. It's just about um, 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, November 17th. Uh, it's time for the next segment of uh, BTS Vlogs. What's been happening is uh, this last week I've been uh, heavily sleep deprived. Before then I had a, I have problems sleeping sometimes. Well, enough more than enough times. That okay? It catches up with you and your body hits the wall, the sleep deprivation wall. And I've been going through this for the whole week now. I've been in that uh, crash mode for about a week, and I've been vlogging it. When I go to when I'm in this sleep deprived mode, and then I've been I've been this in this mode in terms of being sleep deprived before. This is not something new. If you watch my videos, you know that this, this is the case. And the weird thing is that every time I'm in the sleep deprived mode, and this is why I have this stuff the song on, I wind up at uh, for some reason or I end up winding up at Morgan Page Loves channel watching a video and the last time this was the case uh, and I think it was just about a week ago she had Super Tramp playing I usually at, at certain point in times that at some point in time uh, instead of uh, putting a video on I'll actually just put some music on and one of the th th uh, the tracks I like one of the CDs I like listening to uh, when I'm in my sleep deprived mode is Super Tramp and this is Breakfast in America and now the two have been kind of connected together. Morgan Page Love and Super Tramp have now sort of merged together. So every, every time I'm in this sort of a, a sleep deprived mode, I'm in this mode like not now, but on sleep, Super Tramp, while well, I'm having my, doing my hydration, and I just thought I'd write her, write a little letter to her, a little uh, email to her on her on her YouTube channel, uh, letting her know this. <laughs> Yeah. 
but it's not always the best idea or the easiest thing to do uh, to write a letter while you're sleep deprived and you're sort of in the state here because the you're, you're still pretty much and this is the problem with sleep deprivation, deprivation is you're pretty much still in a dream mode you're in a you're in it's, it's kind of like you're intoxicated like you're drunk but you're drunk because you haven't had enough sleep and your dreams are now starting to seep into your period while you're while you're awake and that makes things really weird and it puts you into those weird state weird thoughts in your mind and the closest I can sort of describe it is that you end up in a pensive state so <coughs> that's where we are now uh, <coughs> I just finished my hydration and I will be going back to bed shortly and I'll get up again uh, in a couple hours anyways that's it. Thanks for watching uh, my my, uh, my my sleep deprivation sleep deprivation wall crash. Uh, you can watch as much or as little as you want of this, and uh, hopefully Monday uh, things will get back to somewhat normal, where I'll start posting again. I've been going through some work on on uh, the BTS vlogs, uh, new graphics, maybe some new mu background music. I don't know. I'm working on, we'll see what happens for Monday. Alright. Okay. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Yeah, I was supposed to vlog for a while now. I haven't vlogged in uh, a little more than a day. I try to vlog after I've done something uh, or after a period of wake, wakeful, wakefulness or being awake. Uh, but that didn't work out. Basically, yesterday was kind of a write-off, so uh, I was too tired to vlog after uh, doing anything. Sunday, I ended up going to my parents' house for lunch, and then from there, I went to a friend's house. Uh, I went to my parents' house for lunch, and then in the evening, went to a friend's house for uh, something the Greeks call a name day. Uh, he's his two kids were having a name day uh, somewhat on the same day, but uh, one name day was earlier. It was uh, his son Dimitri, and his daughter Nectaria is gonna be coming up soon. So they had a joint get together. It's kind of like the, the it's kind of like a family thing where everyone kind of gets to get gets together. You have food, you sit around, you talk. And that's the way the night goes. Uh, so I ended up uh, not getting home, and uh, basically, my uh, my basically my energy started dropping off around 1:30. Went to, went to bed, got up. Uh, I didn't end up getting up until ooh, what is it? Uh, I got up. When did I get up? I think it was two, three o'clock in the afternoon on November eighteenth. I think it was. Let me just check the date. Yeah, November eighteenth is when I uh I got up at basically two o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, well, I was supposed to go to my parents' house, but that didn't work out. Uh, I it, what happens is that uh, uh, both of them got sick. Everyone in Toronto has been, been really very sick. Uh, the weird thing is, I didn't get the I didn't get the f the fever the fever. I didn't get the chills. I didn't get the stuffy nose. I didn't get the sore throat. None of that happened. I just had a little issue with uh, my bronchial tubes, but that had more to do with uh, the sleep dep deprivation and the walking than, than anything else. So it wasn't necessarily a uh, viral issue or or or, or, or a uh, sickness issue. It was the body recovering from a, a heavy amount of ex exercise. And then what did I do? Uh, 
Didn't do much of anything Monday. So I did some work on on the editing system. On, on, on the editing system, I did get uh, I did get uh, one of the episodes of the BTS vlogs up. Another one that went up just now. And that's what I'm, as I'm talking. It's, it's already gone up. It's up there. So I'm gonna should be able to catch up this week with BTS vlogs. I should be able to keep current this week with everything. So it's not too many days off. I've had to, because Monday was kind of a write-off, and nothing really happened in terms of other than just sort of being tired, what I ended up doing is I ended up rolling, uh, rolling that day into the entire weekend. So rather than having a three-day weekend, it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And this is sort of the ending segment of this on Tuesday. What ended up happening, though, is I, I, I like in, in, in when I make my food is I like to have fresh things. So rather than going out and buying a can of chicken and making um, chicken salad for chicken salad sandwiches, I don't do that at all. I buy the chicken, I roast it in the oven, I cut it up into pieces, or actually shred it into pieces with my hands, uh, and then I make a sandwich out of it. I don't put anything in the sandwich other than the, the mayo goes on the bread with some lettuce, salt and pepper, and that's it. That's the sandwich. Uh, if you want it hot, you can either have it hot with with the sriracha chili sauce, or if you want to make it in, in Greek style, like 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 a like a, like a um, chicken souvlaki, you can do it that way. That this chicken has a variety of different uses with it in terms of the flavoring and how it was marinated and prepared. Uh, there's a variety of different ways you can go with it. But uh, that took me till about oh three o'clock in the morning last night and then from three to six I worked on an issue on the editing bay if you watch uh, the previous BTS vlog you'll see that I try to do a cleaning montage it didn't work out so good but uh, it at least taught me how to do uh, the editing on Linux and that's part of the experiment here the, the experiment here is to sort of do the entire television station the entire TV station to have everything done on Linux uh, because typically you're not supposed to be able to do this so uh, well, that's what I am doing I am working everything's being done on Linux I don't have Windows here at all I'm not using Mac I'm not using Adobe or any of the pirate or anything like that this is all Linux when you're watching this TV channel and you're watching the stuff that's produced on here the all these different shows this is all Linux production uh, and this is something, you know, if you want to see Linux at work, well, here it is. This is it. And but so I finally was trying to get the video to be sped up, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. It kept, kept crashing. Uh, I found the issue, found a workaround, and uh, but that was like 6 o'clock in the morning. And then I just got up at 2.30 2 now uh, to start the rest of the day here on the 19th of November. And I was able to get everything put together, set it up, uh, have it sent up to uh, YouTube. So everything's working all right. Uh, I'm just waiting to go to my parents now. So this is the end of uh, the BTS vlogs covering the day, covering the days from. Uh, let's see where was it here, uh, November fifteenth to the nineteenth. When I come back, I will do begin. The BTS vlogs for uh, November 19th to the 18th. So, yay. <laughs> Alrighty, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.